Hello and welcome to Movember. Um, this is a tutorial, I'll try to keep it short and sweet, with some examples on how to calculate the magnification. It's a common uh, test question in biology. Sometimes you're given a picture like this or a closer picture of parts of a cell and asked how much magnification was used to get this picture or how big is this cell. So to do that, we're going to look at a, a few variables. Uh, I am is a nice way to remember this, um, this formula. I is the image size. That's what's actually used. If you have a picture on the paper, that's what you would use a ruler to measure that image size. The A is the actual size of the cell in real life. So these are usually in micrometers. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. So remember that unit for this one in particular, micrometers. The M is the magnification, the lenses that you're using to get that close. So let's dive into a couple examples here. This is a mitochondria. Um, it says the length of the scale bar for this micrograph of a mitochondria is eight micrometers. What's the magnification? Here's a huge hint. Please pay attention to this one. Um, when you're given a scale bar right here, use that. So take advantage of the scale bar. I take my ruler and I measure the scale bar. So now my eye, my image, is using that ruler. I measure that image, and that's 8 centimeters. The actual is always the smaller number. So that's my 8 micrometers across this scale bar. And if I work that out, centimeters, I like to go centimeters to millimeters because I can think of it. It's times 10. And then micrometers to, uh, sorry, millimeters to micrometers is 1,000. Millimeters to micrometers, a thousand. Micrometers to nanometers, a thousand. Those are the big jumps. So work that out, and you should end up with 10,000 times magnification to get to this picture. All right, here's another example with some red blood cells. Um, I measure one across with my ruler, and it's 1.6 centimeters long in the picture. I'm told the magnification is 2,000 times larger than life. So what's the actual size of a red blood cell? Well, we can do that using our IM again. And I'll work through it here. 1.6 centimeters divided by 2,000. Well, I don't like the centimeters. We need to get those eventually into micrometers, which we've done here. And the math works out like this. OK, let's do two more examples for you. If you have an iPhone or a phone with a camera, take it, put it on the end of a microscope. And I did that yesterday with this picture here. Um, you can get some really cool pictures just by putting your phone there. I got this picture. I measured it out with a ruler, and I found that one cell was 0.4 uh, centimeters across. And I want to know how large that cell is then in real life. So I can find out the actual size by going A equals I over M. Here's my image, 0.4 centimeters, over 400 times magnification. And I work it out, and I should end up with about 10 micrometers across for one of these cells. OK, let's do one more. This is a ciliated epithelial cell. Uh, really quickly, the cool thing about these cells is you can see that they're producing a little bit of mucus here, and it's trapped a little bit of dust. You'd expect to find this in your throat, and this is what is saving you a lot of the time. It catches bacteria, tickles your throat, and the, the mucus captures that, and, <clears throat> and you cough it out. So neat cells, very strange shape though. So to measure the size of these is, could be quite challenging if you didn't have this trick down here. The trick here is you have a scale bar. So if I want to find the magnification M here, I know I would measure the, uh, the scale bar at four centimeters in the image. And I know the actual is given to me, the tiny number, two micrometers, and I work my way through this one to get to 20,000 times magnification. Okay, I hope this helped some of you out there. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks very much. See ya.